Hi everyone and welcome to another of my videos. I'm excited to be back and I'm here today to try some new and also a little bit older releases of, yeah, of a couple of products. We are going to talk about the new and try out the new Anastasia palette. I'm also going to try the new concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury. I also have the Anastasia powder that's been out for a couple of can be years, I don't remember, but it's been out for a long time. And also the full collection of Amrezi and pretty little thing, <laughs> can't speak today. I have the whole collection, let's watch, let's try it out, see what happens. If you're interested, then please keep on watching. Came a little bit closer so you can see everything. I am going to prep my eyes and for that today I am going to go in with Kaya Cosmetics. This is the All Eyes on Me eyeshadow primer. It's a good eyeshadow primer. It's um, maybe not the best if you have really really oily eyelids. I don't know, some people with oily eyelids say it works for them. For me it works but maybe only for like seven, eight hours. Usually I work long hours and I want my primers to, to stay or my eyeshadow to stay for at least 11, 12 hours. Okay, I'm going to set this, of course, with powder. I'm going to use Kaya Cosmetics powder. Now I have a review of uh, one of the Kaya Cosmetics collection and also Luna Beauty collection. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to have that on my channel or not because I filmed like six, five months ago, and it's really long time ago. I know if, if you want to see that. Let me know down below if you want to see that video, uh, if I'm going to put it out or not. But, okay, this is the new Rose Metal Palette. I'll also have the other one from uh, Anastasia that I haven't reviewed or tried yet. The one before this one. Okay, let's take it out. An all-in-one palette for instant effortless looks from one to go to ultra glam. So let's just use it today and create like a fast soft glam eyeshadow look. This is the packaging. It looks really nice. Sorry for my nails guys, I'm going to fix them today. They're a little bit too long. But this is the palette and this is the eyeshadows. They look really, really pretty. Let's remove this plastic so you can see. So this is the palette. Beautiful. Every day eyeshadow palette could create a glam look or just something soft. Okay, we are going to go in with the color ashes here. Should I swatch? Let's swatch the colors first. Let's just swatch them. I'm going to take these, these four shades first. Rose Quartz, Royal, Heavenly, and elements. I know, should I, should I swatch it like this? I like live swatches. So you can see really how everything goes on smoothly. I zoomed in. Oh, it swatches really, really nice. Bad swatches, but it swatches really nice. This one here looks to be really soft pigmented. Uh, I think you can build it up. But it's nice if you have it like a topper. Let's go in with these four other shades here. Haze, oh, such a beautiful shade. They are really soft pressed. I'm not even pressing hard. Ashes and done. Oh, such a beautiful color. That's definitely my favorite. This one is also beautiful. They're really soft. Nice. They're definitely going to stay long on the eyes because it's not going anywhere. Okay, let's take the four last shades. We have Sun Rose, uh, Nova, Ooh. No Nocturne, I think it, that's how you pronounce a noble. Well, noble feels more dry uh, than the others. 
Yeah, definitely really beautiful colors. That's the whole palette. They're beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Stunning. Okay, I'm going to go in with uh, Sosu brush number 203 and go with this color Ashes. I'm going to have that in my crease. I'm just going to remove. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh my God, I just pressed really soft and a lot of pigment. Okay, beautiful color. It turns more gray on my eyes, but it is ashes, so. Okay, that turned nice. I mean, it's, I'm kind of scared of these kind of colors that are more ashy or gray because it kind of looks muddy on my eyes but I'll go with the flow. Let's go in with the, hmm, I don't know which one to take. Dawn, this color here. And just, it's really pigmented. It's a beautiful shade, they blend really nice. I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to go in with this Nova color here. I'm going to take some setting spray. I'm going to go in with uh, LH Cosmetics setting spray. This is a really good setting spray and I got it for my sister on my birthday. And I don't think these colors need setting spray, but I just want to, I don't want to use my fingers today to apply this on, that's why. Oh, this is a beautiful color. Oh my God, it looks so much better on the eyes than in the pan. And I'm going to bring it down here. I'm using setting spray just to minimize the fallout. I'm going to use the same brush, but I did clean it a little bit. I'm going to go in with this hazel or haze. This is a beautiful color. Definitely my favorite in this palette. And I'm going to also Use some setting spray. Oh wow. They blend really nice into each other. I'm going to use a blending brush. This is also from Cash. This is Cash Beauty brush. I know what number it is, but this is, it's like a blending brush. And I'm going to go in back with ashes that we had in our crease just to blend up the edges more and I want to dip it up a little bit. I'm going in with this small brush. This is Morphe and Jaclyn Hill uh, 39 brush. And I'm going to go into Noble, this darkest shade in the palette. Just touch up the edges a little bit here. Not going to blend too much, just press softly because I'm going to go new, use new foundation or foundation we'll see what I can call it for me but I'm going to go to my holy grail this is the Hi milk hydro grip primer uh, I know how this is working with other foundations and I'm going to today use a foundation or BB stick for from Kaya Cosmetics and it's been out for a while and I didn't use it because it's kind of like a medium coverage or light medium coverage. And I like full coverage, medium full coverage. And it got so many good compliments that I at the end thought that, okay guys, okay, let me try it. Let me see the hype, what the hype is about. And I take it out. I got the two colors. It's natural, natural Radiance. And let's see if I can read here. This BB Stick Foundation is ready to go perfection beyond because of its pocket-friendly size and periofin formula. It has a light to medium coverage that achieves a perfect natural finish. The creamy texture spreads smoothly and attaches to the skin, creating an even result with its soft focus effect. It's like filter, but in a stick. And it said like natural radiant. And everybody that used it was... had dry skin. And I don't have dry skin. So 
We've been sitting here for months, guys. For months. I have two colors. I know which one I'm going to use. And I also got the brush that goes with it. There is a brush that Kaya said it's perfect, or they created it actually for this BB stick. So let's use the brush too. And for, of course, I needed a sponge if the brush didn't work because I don't like applying my foundations with brushes. Okay, I have colors 30C. Um, oh, that's deep. That's, that's deep. Okay. 30C and we have 20W. Okay, a little bit. I don't think neither of these are going to work perfectly, but let's go. Let's just try it. We can make it work. I'm going to use double O, uh, 20W, um, W, 20W. Uh, my skin, let's just, I don't know. Put it everywhere and I'm going to use the other color to dip it up if we need to. Can't see myself in the mirror. Maybe this is too much. I have no idea how to apply these kind of products. Let's take the brush out. And this is the brush. Love Kaya's brushes. Soft. And this is F14, one of their most popular brushes. Popular brushes. And let's uh, try to blend this thing. Oh, it's really soft. The color is a little bit too warm for me, but we can make it work. Definitely light coverage, so I'm going to build it up more. I think I applied a little bit too much, but it's just because I like, you know, medium to full coverage foundations, but everybody loves these, or most of the people love these sticks, BB sticks, and I wanted to be one of those that tried it. It's definitely not heavy, blending oh, blending really nice. I'm going to use the deeper shade just to bronze my skin a little bit. It's not too deep to use as a bronzer, but it can't hurt. It feels light. I applied a lot of this product on my face. It feels light, uh, really light. I'm going to just go over with a sponge. I don't know. I just feel like the feeling of a sponge <laughs> more than a brush. So this is definitely light coverage for the nation. I, I wouldn't even call it a medium. Nope, not at all. Uh, it looks nice. Here it looks a little bit heavy, but I don't think it's the foundation itself. I think I didn't moisturize my skin enough today or a couple of days. So that's maybe why. Light coverage. I like it. It's definitely healthy looking radiant my skin, but a little bit better. It's not going to be my everyday foundation, but if you like, if you have perfect skin, young, perfect skin or, or me, I don't know. If you have perfect skin, I think you will love this product. Um, but um, not my to go, but I will definitely use it when I don't want full makeup during the weekends, but still want to have some sun coverage. Okay, let's go with the concealer. The very popular concealer that's everywhere right now, it's this Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, why can't we? This beautiful, beautiful packaging concealer. I have it in number four, Fair, fair, <laughs> fair. Uh, I ordered it from uh, Charlotte Tilbury's website. It arrived really fast. I also ordered this one, the bronzer, that I really wanted to try out, but it's sold out everywhere else. And I've, I'm preparing for a different videos. So that's why I'm going to use it. Um, not, uh, that's why I'm not going to use it today. But this is Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer in shade four. I hope it's not too deep. Definitely going to use a beauty blender for this or sponge. Ah, oh, perfect shade. And yes, I'm not going to do the new thing that people put some here and some. No, for me, you even everybody blends it down there or down. Um, no, I'm going to go the way it feels natural to me. 
Mm -hmm. I like how light it feels, a little bit cold. Oh. Oh, I like this concealer. Oh, I look so much more awake. Could use a shade lighter. But I'm scared of shades that are cold, like fair. Because usually when I buy them, I look too fair. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Mm, I like this concealer. Feels really nice, really good. I don't know what it says on the packaging. Um, but let's see. Clinically proved results. Dark circle appeared reduced by 40% in 28 days. Skin looked smoother and more radiant by 43%. Boost hydration by 173% in one hour. Hyaluronic acid and gold of vitamin C plus collagen and niacinamide. Uh, yeah. Medium buildable coverage, 16 hours wear. It feels really, really good. I'm going to go in with this uh, powder. I bought this for my friend Valerie a couple of years ago, or maybe one or two years ago, uh, in our box swap, and she really loved it. But I never bought it for myself. I do have a lot of powders. But I'm going to use this today. I really, really wanted to try this powder. Everybody loves it. I wanted to be one of those can't be one of the people that has a YouTube channel. I didn't try this powder. Put some here. I'm not going to use this too much. I'm just going to set my under eyes because we are going to go and use, try some blushes. And yes, I'm almost 40. And yes, I do like to put a lot of powder on my eyes, even if I have fine lines, just under the eyes. Oh. Wow. Okay. Definitely mattified. Uh, I do have fine lines. I mean, they are really visible, so I'm not hiding these. It kind of made me look a little bit drier under, uh, on the, under the eyes, but we'll see. So far, it kind of smoothed everything, but I do look dry under the eyes. But usually, I'm really dry under, have dry under eyes. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's just leave that aside. Okay, let's let's go in with Amrezi and Pretty Little Thing Collection. Immediately bought it. I needed it. I needed it. I fell in love in the creamy products, cream bronzers, cream blushes. Usually, oh, a couple of years ago, I was so afraid to use it, hated it. I love cream blushes, not all of them. There are a couple of products that I don't like or that I don't like. But this is the packaging. It's really nice. Uh, I, the only thing is that you can't see the color. You need to open it. This is in shade Autumn, number three, the three shades. Creamy. You can see number three shade. We don't know which one we're going to use. Number two, pink print. Pink print. It's a little bit more pinkish. It should look like this. Oh. Definitely more pink. When you look at them in the pan, they look really close. They feel a little bit creamy, oily. And this, oh, no, sorry guys, forgot to show you. This is number one in shade Beauté. I think it's how you pronounce it. And it's more orangey color. Oh, I like all three, three of them. But today we are going to go with the number three. This is number one two and three. Let's use number three. And I'm going to go with my finger and then we'll see if I need something else to blend. Autumn. They're definitely, it feels a little bit oily. <laughs> I stay in my hand. It feels a little bit oily to the touch, but 
Okay. Oh, it's definitely blending and it's not removing my foundation, which is really, really good. And it's doesn't feel that oily when you blend it in though. I'm not flicking you guys. I'm sorry. Just used to put creamy, used to put creamy products with this finger. Oh, that's nice. Let's try the sponge just to blend it a little bit more. Soft it up a little bit. Oh, I like this. I like this. It blends nice. It looks nice. I like the blushes a lot. That's good. Okay, we are going to go with the highlighters. I have all three highlighters. And outside packaging looks like this. I did swatch these. These have a little bit of drier texture. They are not as creamy as other highlighters. This is number three, Pink Princess, I think it's called. Yes, Pink Princess. That's number three. Oh, that's a beautiful highlighter. This is number two that it's called Gold Member. And there are... It's a really different texture. I don't know how to explain it. They dry down. This is definitely a gold one. And then we have a number one. That's called Star. So we have number three, two and one. This is definitely more pinkish than I'm used to, um, but it, they're beautiful. I saw MRZ using them with liquid products to kind of, this is when, when you remove them, because they are dry, drier and they dry really fast. But th she said that best is to mix them with a different product because you can put it on the skin, on the face, everywhere you want. So I'm going to go in with the color. Yes, I'm going to go with the, <laughs> a little bit of a scary color, number three, the most more pinkish. And I'm going to go in, blend it with this serum. This is the Pologrotamic Acid Serum that I use with my, that I use with my um, drier foundations. Just take a dot of this product and just a little bit of this. Maybe I could actually mix this one and number one. Yeah, let's mix number three and number one. I'm going to blend it with my finger. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like gold within. And if I put more of the highlighter, I will have a more intense highlighter. And you can use it like this to get that glow within. I really like this. I did swatch it on my skin also when I it arrived because I do like liquid highlighters. Oh, this is nice. I like it. I like it. That's a tip. If it dries too fast, use something liquid to blend it in with. And I'm going to use some bronzer. I'm going to go with Scott Bonds bronzer. I'm going to go use my powder brush. This is the Cash Beauty one brush. And I'm going to go in with this Anastasia powder. And I really like this powder. It's really good. Every, my skin looks really nice. It looks like my skin, but better. You can see some of my texture and some of my birthday marks or other scars on my face, but still it looks healthy. My skin, but better. For the eyebrows, I'm going to go with Huda Beauty Eyebrow Pencil. I'm going to use a small pencil and I'm going to go in with this heavily and use it in here. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh, oh. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that and this is a dry brush. 
This is really nice. I didn't expect that at all. Another brush, and I'm going to go in with the Rose Quartz, this color here, the first one. I'm going to actually blend it on the, my lower lash line. Going back with a pointy brush, and I'm going to go in with this haze color here, this color here, and I'm going to wet the brush afterwards and apply. Oh, <laughs> crumbly! Don't press too hard because it will go everywhere. I'm going to spray this with some setting spray, and I'm going to blend it under the eyes. Same brush, just go into the noble and just dip it up here. This is the LH Cosmetics new eyelash curler and I want to try it. I want to try it. This has been sold out twice and I'm curious to know why. Looks really nice. I love this orange det detail. Let's try the eyelash curler. Goes really nice with my hairband. Oh wow. Oh my god, it grabbed on each eyelash and it's not scary. It's really comfortable. You know how some eyelash curlers are scary? They almost pinch your eyelid. This is not it. It's perfect. Oh my god, it's perfection. I love it. I love it. And I'm going to go in... Oh, this is a... Not the newest release, but this is the Bad Ga Gal Bang Waterproof Benefit Mascara. And I've been using it for a couple of weeks and I loved the, the regular uh, Bad Gal Mascara. I think my friend Valerie sent it to me also when it just arrived in a box swap and love that one. So I went for the wa waterproof. This is definitely not waterproof. This is, it smudges on my low lash line. It doesn't last all day. Some of the eyelashes are coated with this mascara at the end of the day and it's so hard to remove even with oil. So yeah, I'm going to use it on this video because it is a more expensive one. Oh my god, I got something in my eye. And if you get it on your la low lash line, doesn't matter if you let it dry or remove it fast, it's going to smudge and destroy your makeup look. So I do not recommend this mascara. It does make your lashes look wonderful, but it's not worth it, my opinion. And for that reason, I'm not going to put any mascara on my lower lash line or this mascara. I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star mascara on the lower lash line. I think even this is almost used up. This one is good. But it doesn't give me that dramatic look that I go for, but the lips. For the lips, yes, we're going to see... I have all three lip, collect, uh, lip sets lip sets and they are they are also sold separately it's comes with uh let's go for number one this time the number one blush baby it goes on um, it comes with the lipstick lip gloss and lip pen okay this is number one let's swatch the pencil it's more like a brown sorry for my swatch swatches this is the lipstick, it's more rosy. And the lip gloss. Beautiful. Oh, it smells nice, sweet. Okay, that's number one. Let's go with number two. Number two, this is I forgot to tell you, but number two is called Go To. This is the lip pencil and it's a little bit deeper and more cold brown. I feel like, oh no, maybe warmer than the first one. 
a kind of similar. Then we have the lipstick. Number two, go to. That's more nude color. Warm nude. Maybe that we should go for this one. And then we have a lip gloss. Yeah, this is definitely like go to nude. Maybe we should go for that. Let's see, number three. That's called uh, Peaches and Cream. Let's go. Oh, this one is definitely the deepest of the lip liners. Now the lipstick. Also really nude. That's kind of go to more on that warmer side. And then we have a golden lip gloss. It has this more yeah, this is all three of them. I like all three sets. I think they're beautiful. Uh, it's affordable, but we are going to go with number two. I feel like number two is going to go perfect with this makeup look. Let's go with go to. I hate doing my lips lip liner. Feel like it always turns bad. The lipsticks are really creamy. Uh, I thought it was a little bit more dry formula, but not now when I apply it. My hands are full of swatches. Okay, let's go with the lip gloss, which kind of is my favorite from all three. Perfect. Oh, I like that. And so guys, this is the final look. I love the eyeshadow palette. I think it's wonderful. I also love the Amrezi and Pretty Little Letter Thing collection. It's really good. I love the eyelash curler. Perfect. The foundation is the Or Baby Stick. It's kind of, it looks nice. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels like I don't have any makeup, but it is light coverage. It's not medium. I couldn't build it up. I don't know if you could. The concealer is perfect. I do like the powder. I don't know how much I like it under my eyes. Right now it looks really smooth and nice, but when I smile, I do like look a little bit drier under my low, uh, under my um, lower lash line. <laughs> Forgot how to speak. But it's something that I always struggle with. Doesn't matter what powder I use, but I do like using powder. So I know wrinkles and use the powder. I don't care. I'm going to use the powder, but I feel like I do like the powder. I understand the hype, but this is the full makeup. Let me know down below if you tried any of these products. What do you think about them? And don't forget to subscribe and then the notification bell. And guys, mm, I love it. Let me know if you purchased anything of these products. Let me know. Uh, let me also know what you want to see more on my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. I love y'all. Bye.